About 10 months ago at CES in Las Vegas, we got to go to the NVIDIA keynote and we got to see Jensen Huang present the new line of Blackwell GPUs. So the NVIDIA 5000 series of GPUs, which we've been selling all year here at Micro Center. But today I got my hands on something special. NVIDIA sent me over one of their AI supercomputers. Now at that keynote, they presented something that they called Project Digits, but now it's called the DGX Spark. And you can get the DGX Spark at your local micro center starting on October 15th. So come on by to get your hands on this awesome AI computer. But I have one here and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look. All right, so we got our DGX Spark logo over here and this guy just kind of slides right out like that. All right, first and foremost, this is, this is a lot smaller than I was anticipating. I know that, whoa, that's real small. Wow, okay, cool, look at that. This is tiny. Like look at, look at the palm of my hand and look at this guy. This is the DGX Spark. I've seen some of the images <laughs> that they've released but this is like way smaller than I was anticipating. And it has this really nice gold chassis even though I'm already starting to get it a little bit greasy with my fingers but that's okay. Really interesting texture here on the front. So this has to be the air intake here probably an exhaust here on the back. And then on the back, you can see all of your IO. So you have four USB ports here, USB-C, HDMI 2.1, then you have your RJ45 over here. So this is gonna be your 10 gigabit ethernet. But then over here is your Connect X7 Smart NIC. And this is what you're gonna use to connect two of these together. All right, so we saw this. Let's see what else is in the box. Nice, very cool little manual. It's got all of your info that you need over here. Ooh, power brick. Interesting. All right, so it looks like it's about 240 watts that it's outputting. I was curious about the power draw on this guy. So going off of the power brick, 240 watts. We have that uh, Max-Q version of the RTX Pro 6000 here at Micro Center, and that runs off of 300 watts. That's everything you need to get started. Obviously, you have to hook it up to a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor to get this working, and I cannot fire this up today. You're gonna have to check out our follow-up videos on this guy after the launch to see how she runs. Now we will be at the Micro Center Santa Clara location and we'll be meeting up with some people from NVIDIA who are gonna walk us through some tech demos on the DGX Spark, so stay tuned. That's gonna be a really cool video series. Under the hood, you have an ARM CPU. This is a 20 core ARM CPU, 10 Cortex X925, and that's paired with a 10 Cortex A725. ARM CPUs, that's really interesting. It's also paired with the GB10, what they're calling the super chip. Now this Grace Blackwell chip, well, this is really what's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for your AI workloads. Fifth generation tensor cores, and that is gonna be really impressive tech, especially when you wanna get into NVFP4, which we'll talk about in a different video. Now for storage, you have four terabytes of NVMe storage with this device, which is enough to fit a lot of your large models, but the more models you cram into this guy, it's gonna get crammed really, really fast. So you definitely wanna look into some maybe external storage solutions that you can use through the USB-C here. 128 gigabytes of LP ddr 5 x memory. That's unified memory, so that means you can fit some really big models here. But this is not just an inference machine. Yes, you can do inference up to 200 billion parameters. You can also do quantization up to 70 billion parameters. And quantizing your models, well, that's something that this is specifically designed for. This is not just an inference machine like you've seen with a lot of the other kind of small form factor AI computers. This is really meant for developers who want to train or fine tune their own models. But you can do that with a really small local footprint. And that is really, really impressive. Now we will have a slew of follow-up videos to walk you through all of the different processes that you need to fine tune and train your own models using the DGX Spark, which I think is actually gonna be very, very interesting. And this is gonna be a very big leap for local AI because now with a small device like this, you can start training your own local models. And that is just truly impressive. So stay tuned and make sure you stop by your local micro center on October 15th, where you can get your hands on the DGX Spark. And don't forget, you can link up two of the DGX Spark devices together with the smart NIC on the back, and this will give you up to 256 gigabytes of LP ddr 5 x memory. That means you can run a model up to 405 billion parameters, which is nuts. That is just absolutely 
nuts. So I'm really looking forward to testing that out. Stay tuned and make sure you stop by your local micro center. And if you don't have a micro center near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a micro center near me.